The United States has ordered a shake-up of how it handles sensitive information after the release of thousands of secret cables by the whistleblower website WikiLeaks. The White House says the organization has acted illegally and it's aggressively pursuing those responsible. America's top diplomat Hillary Clinton called the leak an attack on the international community. Washington correspondent Craig McMurtry. No Secretary of State before her has had to deal with anything quite like it. Hillary Clinton was measured and grim. The United States strongly condemns the illegal disclosure of classified information. The Secretary refused to comment on what she called stolen State Department cables, which among other things reveal that the Libyan leader liked to travel with a voluptuous nurse, that U.S. diplomats considered Berlusconi feckless, Sarkozy thin-skinned and Prince Andrew rude. The United States deeply regrets the disclosure of any information that was intended to be confidential. The latest cables reveal growing tension between China and North Korea, a senior Chinese diplomat describing the rogue state as a spoiled child. In another, the Saudi king suggests the U.S. implant electronic chips in Guantanamo detainees. Barack Obama was briefed on the scale of the WikiLeaks document dump last week. The president uh, was, as an understatement, not pleased. The White House spokesman is calling it a serious crime and the U.S. Attorney General is taking aim at the media as well as the whistleblower website. It's not saber-rattling. This is, as I said, an active, ongoing investigation. Tighter controls on classified material have been ordered, along with reviews of cyber security at the State Department and Pentagon. A WikiLeaks spokesman is unapologetic. We live in a world that has become uh, overly secretive, uh, especially after 9-11. U.S. officials aren't ruling out targeting the website's founder, Australian Julian Assange. One senior Republican congressman wants him prosecuted for espionage, and WikiLeaks designated a terrorist organization. In damage control, Hillary Clinton is still working the phone. At least one of my counterparts uh, said to me, well, don't worry about it, you should see what we say about you. But with only a fraction of hundreds of thousands of leaked cables posted on the WikiLeaks website so far, U.S. officials clearly are worried. Craig McMurtry, ABC News, Washington.